Juneberry. Not sponsored in any way, just I need to get my energy levels up. Now, just last week, Hypergon, Hypergon, do you pronounce it Hypergon? Hypergon. Hypergon commented on one of my posts saying that I have crazy dedication because I got a full-time job and I'm still creating content. And that just gave me an idea for a video, this video right here. And I wanna thank Hypergon for giving me that idea. He stumbled across my channel like a couple of weeks ago and he's been commenting ever since. And that's cool, that's what I like that people do, that people comment on my posts and videos telling me what they really like and what they're experiencing themselves from my videos. That gives me motivation and inspiration to do this. Thank you for that. Now, trying to be creative while having a full-time job is difficult. I'm not gonna deny that. It's sometimes really difficult. So that's why I wanted to talk to you guys, just to bring out my thoughts on how I make it work. Just to clarify, I am not a life coach. These are all my thoughts on how I make it work. And we are all in different kind of life situations, so these might not work for you as they are. I'm really feeling it. Are you feeling it? I know, I know I'm feeling it, so let's Put in some music. The first mistake I did when I started out was not planning enough. I didn't write down every idea that just popped into my head. Now every idea might be a potential start of a good video. It might be just a title, it might be a user experience of a lens, for example. But you just have to remember to write it down. From there I start writing the script. I put everything into the script. I put b-roll, I put drone footage, weird shots, anything that just comes up to mind because that's how I stay up to date on what I've been planning. This also helps you organize and take those shots quickly when you know what you're doing and you don't have to think on the spot that what kind of shot I want because you've already written it down, you've planned it out, you just take the shot and move on. Then there's time, time is scarce. Your full-time job probably takes 30 to 40 hours of your week. So you must use your time accordingly. Now me, I'm an ER nurse. I do mainly night shifts and luckily in my workplace sometimes those night shifts can be slow. That means that on those slow night shifts I write down those scripts, I plan out and if I don't have anything to write or my head is empty, I watch YouTube videos. I try to find my inspiration from somewhere just to come up with an idea what I'm gonna do next. And there's a lot of great videos from other creators out there that inspire me, that might inspire you. Just as long as you remember not to take it as research, but you're doing it as your own enjoyment and just, you know, watching videos. That helps out a lot. Now, because of my work, my free days, my free time usually steps on to weekdays, not weekends. That means that I have more time to myself because my family, my friends, everybody around me are usually doing something, they're working or they've got other things to do, so I have more time to myself and that is the time when I create. Now usually when doing a video, it takes me about one day, three to five hours for filming and the rest of the time for editing. Now, sometimes I even have spare time in the evening to do my kind of stuff, just to chill, maybe play video games and relax and get ready for the next day if I'm gonna create again. Now, I'm not telling you to separate yourself from other things in life and focus only on creating, but me, myself, and I, I have told my friends and family that I want to create. I want to be a full-time content creator and luckily they understand when I don't have time for them or I have something going on that needs me to create. Now going back to the subject of work, what I do occasionally is put my hours to a minimum. There might be two to three months that I only do 30 hour weeks. That's possible for me, probably not for you, but if you can, if you have the opportunity, try to minimize those hours to probably 30 hours a week. 
for me, 30 hours a week is about three night shifts per, per week. So I got a lot of free time on the weekdays because I work mainly on weekends. Now, the last thing might sound a little bit cringy, but it is a state of mind. Now, when I'm filming and creating, I tend to think for now that it's only a hobby, even though every time I finish a video, I release a video, I try to learn from it and I try to give it my best. Now thinking it as a hobby just keeps things light and simple and it doesn't stress me out that much. But that said, I'm not saying I don't stress at all. I want to do this as a full-time thing, so sometimes I do stress and occasionally I do fall into despair. Okay dude, time to get up. Time to get up. Ah. Now that's the time usually when I just take a few steps back and relax and do other things than create. Play video games, meet my family and friends and make more time for them and come back when I feel that I'm up to it again. Now the downside on this thing is that I can't focus on anything else in creation. When I'm doing videos and I'm doing YouTube, I don't have time for Instagram or taking photos that much. But I enjoy focusing my time on making videos, making YouTube videos. This is sort of like my diary and I just want to take you guys for a ride. Like I said, posting on Instagram is a secondary thing and not focusing on that right now that much, but what the reach is there for photos right now, I don't think I'm missing that much. Like I said, time is scarce. Sometimes creating might feel like a waste of time, but at those moments, you have to remember who you're doing it for and why you're doing it. Even though as creators, we are doing this for the viewers, just to entertain and teach and stuff like that, still, the number one person you are doing it for is you. You matter. And that said, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. God. Do I even know what I'm talking about? Do I even have it all together? Do I have it all together? Do I? I have no idea. I mean, what do I do? What, how do I do this? I barely stay alive on a daily basis. This is ridiculous. How, maybe I should just shotgun this. Ooh. It's red. Well, Juneberry is red.